Hi everybody, this is Peter with Cooking with Peter and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be using some simple ingredients and we're gonna be making a gourmet meal for your family with the slow cooker. I'm gonna be taking you on a tour of Tuscany, Italy with this meal, so if you're all ready to go to Tuscany with me, let's get started. All right, my friends, we're ready to get started. And the first thing I want to do is go over the list of ingredients with you. So let's do that first. Okay, let's go over our list of ingredients for today's cook. First of all, I'm using four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now these are about the same size. If they were larger chicken breasts, you would want to put them in a plastic bag and use a mallet and flatten them out a bit. But I don't think we need to do that today. Over here, we have a tablespoon of garlic one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of MSG, that's called Accent in the American stores. Here we have two tablespoons of kickin' chicken seasoning that's made by Weber. I really like that flavor. Here we have two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. I have half of one medium onion chopped, half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes and oil, here I have about eight ounces of mushrooms, and you can see that I've chopped those very thickly. Half a cup of sliced olives, a lemon, which we'll be using at the end. Here I have a cup of cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. Here we have one can of Italian style green beans. Here I have one cup of chicken stock. We'll be using some half and half later, as well as some olive oil. And then at the end, we're gonna be using some spinach. And this is about five or six ounces of baby spinach. So these are the ingredients we're gonna be using today, along with some salt on the chicken. So that's about it. As you can tell, that list of ingredients is really simple to come by at most any grocery store. This slow cooker is made by Allclad. You can use any slow cooker that you have. This one has a brown and sear or a sear and saute function. So I like that because I can brown meats in here before I go to the slow cook mode. If your slow cooker does not have that feature, you can brown that in a skillet on the stove and then simply transfer it over to your slow cooker. But earlier I turned the slow cooker on, on the brown mode. Some call it sear and saute on some of my other slow cookers. So this has been heating up nicely and it's ready to go. Be sure to use a towel because if you grab that top of that pan, it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna be putting in a tablespoon of olive oil, which is gonna help us cook the chicken. And then in the chicken, I'm going to be using some of this kickin' chicken seasoning. I buy this at, from the grocery store, Sam's Club usually. I really like the flavor of this. It provides some salt, some uh, dried pepper, some garlic, and some uh, dried onion. I really like it a lot. So I'm just gonna be putting some of this onto our chicken on both sides. Now I may not be using all of this two tablespoons. The other thing I want you to know I did is I patted the chicken dry before I added this seasoning. I'm going to continue putting this on the second side, the flip side, so that you have great flavor for your chicken. Now I'm just going to be placing the chicken into the slow cooker on the sear and saute mode. I'm not looking to cook the chicken. I'm looking to get color on the chicken that browning color on the chicken is gonna be really important. It's gonna create a great visual. I'm going to let the chicken brown in here for about four or five minutes. Then we're gonna flip the chicken over and do the same to the other side. Be back in just a few minutes. Okay, my friends, as you can tell that Chicken has browned up nicely. I'm just gonna be moving the chicken over to the side and throwing in some onions, which I have right here. And I'm gonna saute the onions on the side of this slow cooker and letting them heat up and get translucent. That will take about two or three minutes and then we'll start to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, these onions have been cooking for two or three minutes and I'm just gonna move the chicken over and place the onions under the chicken. I can't even begin to tell you how great this smells already. All right, now we're gonna be putting in some garlic, and this was one tablespoon of garlic. Here I have a teaspoon of salt, 
be a little careful on the salt for right now because that kicking chicken seasoning has some salt, the chicken broth is gonna have some salt, the olives have some salt, the sun-dried tomatoes have some salt, so be a little reserved on that salt for right now. Here we have a teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Here we have about a cup or so of olives. We have about a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. I have a whole can of Italian style green beans. You can pick them up in almost any store. It's kind of a southern specialty, I understand. Uh, I first had them over in Madrid, Spain, had never seen them before, and I thought they were fantastic. We'll dump those in. I'm gonna be putting in the mushrooms. This is about eight ounces or so of mushrooms, portobello baby mushrooms, and I've sliced them rather thick, holding on to their meatiness within the dish. I'll put those right up on top. Here I have a can of fire roasted tomatoes. I forgot to put that into the ingredients list, but it's really important that it goes in. Now I have one cup of chicken broth. In many recipes that are not for a slow cooker, they will tell you to put in three or four cups of chicken broth. That's because the liquid is going to evaporate. But in a slow cooker, no. So cut the liquids back to like one cup of chicken broth, or you're gonna be very sorry because your dish is gonna become very soupy. I just happen to use better than bouillon. That's what I use all the time. Pour this in. On top of this, I'm gonna be putting in our one cup of cherry tomatoes. Now, I'm gonna set the slow cooker to low mode, and we're gonna go for four hours. If you're gonna be cooking this dish for longer than four hours, use chicken thighs. If you use chicken breast and set it for a longer period of time, my experience has been that the chicken is gonna dry out and get very tough because it's way overcooked. Chicken thighs can go for that length of time and, and not dry out. As a matter of fact, they do even better on lower or longer cooks. So we'll be back in about four hours for me and just a couple of seconds here for you. Okay, my friends, it's been about three and a half hours into this cook. As you can see, uh, the sauce is quite runny. So what I'm going to do is carefully remove many of these items and just set them over here in a bowl, like you're seeing here. Being careful not to break things up because we're gonna be putting these back into the sauce in a little while. And I'm gonna reduce the sauce down before I put the cream and the spinach back in. So I wanna thicken it up. It's also going to give it a much more robust flavor, which is gonna make the dish even that much better. Let me get all this out and I will reduce this down for a few minutes. We'll come back and put in the cream and the spinach, put everything back in and show you this beautiful finished dish. Okay, y'all, you can see that that sauce has reduced down quite a bit. So now I'm just gonna pour in about a cup or so of half and half that I'm pouring in right now. I'm gonna mix this all together. Now I'm just gonna pour all of this carefully back in to the dish. And you can see there's a lot of sauce that's gonna come off of this dish right here as I pour it back in. Now I'll be mixing all this up, let it get warm again. And then we're gonna be finishing this off by putting this spinach and letting this wilt in. Of course, as you know, spinach wilts down pretty well. It's a good idea to use a good amount of spinach. And then we will be plating this dish and showing you the end result. So there you have it, my friends. There is a beautiful Tuscan chicken with tomatoes, mushrooms, garlic, spinach, Parmesan cheese, and it's all cooked right here in the slow cooker. Well, my friends, here you have it. This dish came out beautifully. It's so delicious. It draws me right back to that time that I was in Tuscany, Italy. And I'm telling you, it is the sauce that brings all of this dish together. It is so fantastic. I hope you will try this dish. The recipe link is gonna be down below in the description. You can click on that link, go to my website, and there you can download the PDF recipe for free. On this episode, I do need to do some shout outs. If you'll make a comment down below on any of our videos, tell me your name and tell me where you're from. I'll be sure to give you a shout out in one of our future videos. So today I wanna to give a shout out to Farso's Kitchen in the United Kingdom. 
good to talk to you again. Thank you so much for your comment. Robert in Prescott, Arizona. Robert, thanks so much for always commenting. I really appreciate it. Our good friend Ray in San Jose, California. Ray, thanks for your comments. Pamela in Okeechobee, Florida. Pamela, thanks for your comments. Michelle Zimmerman. Michelle, I don't know where you're from, but thank you very much. Nita, thanks for the comments. Uh, Keen Blade, thank you for the comment. Slash.geo, don't know where you're from, don't know your real name, but thank you for the comments. And also Alan Whips123. Thanks again for your comments and for watching the show. Remember, if you make a comment, if you tell us your name and where you're from, we'll be sure to give you a shout out in a future video. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Please do me a favor and give us a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Do me a huge favor and please tell your friends and family about the show and ask them to come watch us and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching today. We will see you next time. Thank you.